Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we are going over another real estate math practice question. If you are new here in this series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. If you have any math questions you want me to cover, you can drop them down below and they may be featured in a future video. If you want to try these real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, go ahead and check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam. So make sure to click that like button and subscribe that way you're fully prepared come exam day anyways let's jump right into it so today we're going to be talking about commission we did another commission problem yesterday if you haven't checked that one out check that one out as well and yeah this one's going to look pretty similar but i really want you guys to understand this core commission problem so yeah let's take a look all right so the question states assuming there are no extra fees and the broker is representing the buyer and the seller. What was the final sales price of a property if the commission rate was 5.25% and the broker received $8,000? And it put in parentheses round to the nearest cent. And it's going to go ahead and give us four options like usual. I'm not going to read through these because there's a lot of numbers in here. But yeah, so now that you guys got the question and of course the possible answers, go ahead and figure it out. I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to pause here, take your time, all that good stuff. So go ahead and do that right now. All right, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer on this one. So what is the answer? Well, it's going to be C, that's right. It's C, it's this $152,000. So $152,380.95, pretty big number. Um, so like yesterday, this is a pretty similar problem. The formula, of course, for finding commission, as you guys know, is you just times whatever percentage you have by the total price of the house. Well, of course, in this case, they gave us the rate and what the broker received. So we have to adjust the steps slightly. So in order to find this, you basically take your $8,000, which I'll go ahead and uh, do this right now for you guys. So you're going to take that 8000 and then you are going to divide it by the percentage, which is this 5.25. Obviously you need to put that in decimal form, which is going to be 0 0.0525. And then you're gonna plug this in the calculator. Um, as I mentioned, you know, most times you're gonna be having, or going to be able to use a calculator on the exam. So don't have, don't have to worry about doing long division. Uh, but yeah, that's going to give you this answer here, which is that 1,000, $152,380.95. Now, as I mentioned, a great way to double check is you can actually take this number right here. You just multiply it by that uh, 0 0.0525, which we can do right here, 525. And that's actually going to give you that $8,000, which again is a great way to double check on these commission problems. But yeah, so hopefully between the last video and this video, you guys understand this basic commission problem. This is a pretty common one. Uh, you know, the regular commission problems, we're probably gonna talk about a little bit later just because they're pretty basic, but I really like talking about these ones just because this is kind of a regular one with a twist. Uh, and I like to get that mind thinking and everybody, you know, thinking outside the box, especially when it comes to these math questions, because I know they can be a little bit dull for some people that <laughs> can't stand math. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this one. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you have any comments, questions, all that good stuff, we'll leave them down below. And then in the next video, we're going to be talking about some other really interesting math topics and concepts. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical. See you next time.